hey, I, I love my brother, label maker, use it all the time. Um, the uh, the trouble is is that um, as many of you probably know, this tape is is uh, it's not very cheap, and it tends to waste a lot of labels. But I've discovered a method that I use that uh, can actually save uh, quite a bit of tape, um, and I'm going to show that to you now. Typically, you might choose your margin as either a full margin, or you might use your arrow key and scroll to a half margin, or even a narrow margin. Um, but the problem is that these still use a lot of extra tape. So you can see that it still prints the first inch, and then it adds the little dots for the margins that you'll cut out. So you're still wasting tape. So here is the time saving feature. Push your function button until, after you turn it on, until you uh, see the option called margins. Then you're going to take and choose the OK button. And then you'll choose between, use the arrow keys to choose between narrow option. You want to go to, you see, print chain, chain or chain print, chain print. Once you have the chain margin, the chain printing margin set, then all you need to do is to individually type in each label that you want to make. We'll hit the back base key and then type in my next label. I found this to be a whole lot easier than trying to type in multiple labels in this short little screen on the brother label maker. You can see that the gap between each label is very minimal. The only real wasted space is the first inch at the beginning of the chain and you can see all the rest of them are evenly spaced and leave just enough to clip right between to leave a very small margin between each level. I found this to work very well and I hope this trick works for you as well. When I get done printing all the labels that I want to make then I simply clear out the last label and then I hit the space key four times and then after I hit four times I hit the print button and it creates just enough space so that when I cut the final label it leaves about the same margin that exists between the, the labels when you cut them in half. So the only real wasted tape is that inch that's at the beginning of the chain print and uh, so once I cut that off right there that little piece is about the only a uh, piece of waste, unless I want to trim it really close, it's the only piece of waste uh, when I'm printing. So the more labels that you're going to make in that chain, obviously the more label that you're going to save. I hope that you found this uh, video to be helpful. If you did, would you please leave a like? If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thank you.